Hi everybody, welcome to the Baker Air Guns Quick Look. I'm Donnie Reed and today I'm going to show you the new Zbroya, I might be butchering that pronunciation, Z-B-R-O-I-A, Zbroya, 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 that's what I'm going with, Zbroya. Hortizia is the model. Now, this is a new Ukrainian air gun company. They have this sporter or carbine model. This is the 450 slash 220 version. And that means a 450 millimeter barrel and a 220 cc air tube. Uh, there are other models. There is the Kozak Tactical, which is a bullpup, a mid bullpup, sort of like a brocock. And there's also the Kozak FC, which stands for fully compact, and that's a complete bullpup. And we're gonna probably do videos on those in the future. This rifle is a 22 caliber, and we'll just go over some of the features real quick. This is technically a bolt action, and this bolt moves straight backwards. It has a little latch on the side. You pull it straight back, and there you go. Uh, this is made of brass, and one thing I have noticed is that, as with any brass, it tarnishes when you touch it. Um, you probably could use some Brasso or something on that, shine it up real nice, but uh, just be aware, touching this will make it tarnish. Uh, this gun weighs about 8 pounds. The overall length is about 41 inches, and again, the barrel's 450 millimeters, or about 17 and 3 quarter inches, roughly. It's a fairly quiet gun, as you've just heard. This gun ships with two magazines, two rotary style magazines, and two fill probes. One with a quick disconnect already molded, and another with 1 8 BSPP threads, giving you a lot of options there. This does have a weaver rail on top of it with very rudimentary open sights in there. And I had to test those and I can tell you that at 20 yards, uh, it was probably about maybe six or eight inches low. 10 yards maybe uh, might be pretty close, but um, you know, be aware these are not target sights on this rail. Uh, the gun fills by loosening the end cap and exposing the fill port. It does have a threaded muzzle, threaded to one half by 20. So you can attach any of your favorite moderators or muzzle brakes, air strippers, what have you. The gun is black, gray in color. I believe they actually call it black. There's also a brown version. The trigger is two-stage, fully adjustable. Out of the box, it's probably about a one-pound pull, roughly. Not too bad. A little bit of creep in there, but not too, too bad. Now, the velocities I got from this gun, first of all, the gun fills to 300 bar. 300 bar, that's a lot of bars. And it is regulated. And looking at this shot string, this was a very average shot string for me. You will notice that there is one really high shot at first, uh, 933 feet per second. And then it settles down into a real nice butter zone between about uh, 885 to about 896. Uh, that's not very bad. And I got 36 shots on the reg. Mine fell off uh, after the 38th shot. Uh, the first shot, if we discount that one as possibly the uh, reg was a little high from the fill, but if you discount that first shot, I'm sorry, we got about 37 shots in the string on the reg uh, with a very minor 16 foot per second extreme spread. That's not bad, uh, but mine did quickly fall off after that. Uh, 38th shot, uh, I'm sorry, 39th shot, 872, 40th shot, 868, and I did keep going, it just nosedived from there. And that was from a full 300 bar fill. So it is very consistent in its butter zone there. Uh, but be careful, uh, you know, blow off the first shot maybe to get rid of that big spike. And chrono yours just to see how many shots you're getting. I've seen other people get larger shot strings, but 
This one, you know, 37 shots with a 16 foot per second extreme spread. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Now, so far as accuracy, uh, I tested several pellets in this gun. JSB 1589s, JSB 1813s, H&N Barracudas. Uh, I did like the JSB 1813s the best. Now, unfortunately, we've had a rash of hurricane-like winds here in Ohio. And the days, uh, and I did test this multiple times for accuracy, and the winds just made it so difficult. But in the end, this gun gave me nearly MOA groups at 50 yards, uh, a little over a half an inch, more like five eighths, three quarter as an average. But again, this is a very windy situation we're talking about here. I believe in a nice calm situation, this would be an MOA gun or better at 50 yards. Now with how new this gun is, the reliability is still in question and only time will tell. Uh, we've had no problems with the ones that we have in stock and I don't expect any issues, but you never know. We'll have to watch the forums and the pages and see what happens. But so far as I can tell, this is a very reliable air gun. Now something of note here is the finish on the barrel and on the tube. This is a very matte finish, which is outstanding for concealment. Uh, you know, the glossier, the shinier something is, the easier it is for an animal or anything else to see. And the matte finish does help in that endeavor for concealment. However, just about every little thing shows on here. You just touch it with your fingernail and it leaves a white line like a piece of chalk. So uh, just be aware of that. It is uh, not a hider. You will see things on this finish. Now, so far as ergonomics, this is a nice rifle. It feels nice in the hand. The uh, grip is nice and palm swelled. This is not an ambidextrous stock. This is a righty only stock. And that's not to say a lefty could not use it, but the comb is specifically cut for a right-handed shooter. So what do we have here? We have a regulated PCP made in the Ukraine for roughly an 800-ish dollar price point. Uh, different models have different prices. Check BakerAirGuns.com for those prices. This is a fairly light gun. It's very comfy. Uh, this would be a nice hunting gun for somebody for sure. Uh, again, ships with two mags. You got plenty of shots there. In 22 caliber, they're 10 shot. In 177, they're 12. Uh, the bolt is easy to use. Um, you might have to get used to the little safety lever for the bolt there, but once you do, it's no big deal. Uh, if you're interested in these guns, again, check out BakerAirGuns.com. Stay safe, stay tuned, and happy shooting. Hi, I'm Dennis Baker with Baker Air Guns. Thanks for stopping by. Click the link below.